Hello Libra, this is your December 2017 forecast by me, Ali from Hypno U. Do watch your sun, moon and rising. These cards are exactly the same except for the last card as a sign I've already done. They've come out exactly in the same row. So do watch sun, moon and rising. Now if you want a private reading with me, use the link below. So you're dealing with the third house all month. So any speeches, publicity, blogs, websites, anything that you put out on uh, on display, any, any kind of uh, speech or presentation that you do this month is going to have one wonderful results also uh, with uh, communication with family um, siblings cousins and those kinds of people you are going to be able to resolve issues through communication this month now you do have the major arcana card the strength card Libra to do with your work now the eighth house is the resources you receive from your employer and from others so if you're looking for that scholarship looking for that loan looking for that role um, that um, new job looking for the advancement you are going to get that there is going to be great news there now this is also about facing your fears uh, and having a different um, view a different perspective you've had that clarity and now you're making a change and um, this is scary for you but it is karmic and you will have the resources that you need from those employers around you uh, the professors or in your work or career uh, this is also saying that you are going to be on top of your uh, money scheme and anything to do with the third house of communication marketing advertising anything to do with that this month is really going to push you forward and give you great response now at home you have the Empress card which is hitting bank so you are going to get that loan you are going to get that lease you are going to get that house you are going to get that yes um, now you're very relaxed about it now for others this is about fertility so the Leo or year that kicked in in May but the energy started in October we are in a Mercury retrograde till the 11th of January and that includes the shadow period and Mercury retrograde is bringing back energy and discussions opportunities people uh, from the past and this um, Mercury retrograde uh, the uh, element of children because um, Leo is about uh, the legacy this is the karma is about the legacy the cycle and what you inherit from others and what you're leaving behind so at the home is the idea of we're discussing having children we are pregnant we are starting that cycle you are starting a new cycle or a new project this is something you're very relaxed about and that you've discussed before and it is a positive so you are in the third house all month this is the third um, house as well this is a yes this is advancement this is more money this is getting pregnant this is wonderful resources you also have that clarity that change which you got in this card as well so there is going to be positive communication which is going to result in a beautiful results this is also being very relaxed about your finances your home is covered as well because your finances are there now with your health you do have the four of Pentacles so this is laying money out for your health in the area of the uterus digestion breast stomach and womb again those areas are to do with children so you're putting money into that area area uh, and you're going to get those results now there is an element of what do I need to change um, because what's more important to me now is my home my roots my family and my um, family values and if we're dealing with children it's about back to basics you know uh, eating good food looking after my body uh, exercising lots of water good sleep to get those health issues uh, gone this card saying that you're more uh, inclined to look at the real foundations now rather than what things look like what was aesthetically pleasing to you before you've thrown that out the window you've you've had that enlightenment and now you really want to be strong inside and um, make your body um, and this could also be about getting on top of inherited illnesses as well so you might get those results now and realize okay to make this change for me to feel better for me to feel strong and not to merit what it looks like on the outside is not what's bothering me it's the foundations on the inside and I'm going to change the the way that I do things to get on top of this issue now with your uh, home uh, your love you do have the knight of cups so this is you Libra with a water sign uh, Scorpio cancer or um, Pisces this is during Mercury retrograde you've got some dumb luck now this could be that they are flying in or you're flying out that you're going away together that you meet this person online because this is about travel or outside of the area that you're in so you might find that you meet a water sign if you're single that is online that is different from the criteria you normally date and this person is quite lucky and this person is bringing emotional stability with them and they're not rushing uh, that they are you know they've got good manners they're chivalrous they are going to be respectful and um, they are going to bring about an emotional um, 
stability if this is someone new those of you in a committed relationship there's an element of someone coming home or meeting up getting together there's some sort of travel or distance um, but coming together um, that through the month of December this Mercury retrograde you are finding that emotional stability with each other and luck is involved and so is travel so your drawing virtue messages from the angels Libra is two card and again we've got the baby card so if you don't want to get pregnant in, uh, in December double uh, wrap uh, abstain because this is the pregnancy card and this is the pregnancy card and this is the uh, Leo card to do with karma and this karma is all about legacy the next generation uh, the children uh, and what we inherited so this card's here saying that you're starting a program a pregnancy or a project that you have put uh, that you're going to put a lot of time and energy into that you have uh, the um, resources from others to help you and the others uh, is that this is a project or a pregnancy that you have been going through that you're nearly at the end of that you have the emotional and financial support from others now this card is you are is saying to you that the phone call is going to happen the yes is going to happen that it is going to happen at the last minute you just got to patience wait uh, you can't force it to happen you just have to let things go the natural course it is going to be positive it's going to be okay so have a wonderful Christmas happy new year from my family to yours be kind to you and those you love